Did you just sign up for a brand new high-level account and you want to start sending emails? Well, I've got some news for you. If you start blasting out 5,000 emails on day number one, you're going to live in the spam folder forever. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to connect high level to warm box so that you can let it autopilot your warm up so that real inboxes love you before your first campaign goes out. Check it out. Welcome back high level hustlers. I'm Richard Hickman and on this channel, I drop high level tutorials every week. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And if you still need to get your email sending domain even added to high level, which is the step you need to take before you even get here, make sure you go ahead and click this card right here so that you can connect to your email sending domain and then come right back here so that we can get started on this. So what is warming up your email sending domain or warming up your email? Warm up is a gradual ramp up of real conversations between real inboxes. So the way that you would normally do this is you've got to send an email to like maybe yourself and a couple of friends and then you're going to say, hey, will you go find my email that I just sent you? It's probably in the spam box. I need you to go find that email. Click on the little button that says not spam and then maybe even reply to me. And, I'm, and I need you to do this for me like every day for a month. Right? It's not, it's not really feasible. The reason why this is even necessary in the first place is because when you spin up your brand new email sending domain, places like Google and Yahoo and Outlook, all these guys that they, they transact and they, they're receiving emails all the time and their biggest nuisance is spam. And they don't want, they want to protect their users from spam. So when you spin up your brand new email sending domain and now you're sending emails, Google's like, I've never seen an email from this domain before. This is probably spam, right? Because a spammer or a hacker is going to spin up a brand new domain and start sending emails. And so Google has said, no, if it's brand new, there's no reputation, nothing. I'm, I'm going to block that just right out the gate. And that's what's going to happen to you and your high level account with all of your emails if you don't warm up your inbox first. So what is warming up your inbox? This is what is going to teach Google and Yahoo and Outlook and all these guys, that's what's going to teach them that, hey, this email sending domain, this is legit. Like people are actually going and searching the spam box and marking this as not spam. So that must mean it's real. So we want to train Google and Yahoo. We want to train these email providers that you're legit. But doing that by hand can take a ton of time. So there's a tool out there called Warmbox AI. These guys provide an amazing tool that allows you to do this using AI to be able to automate that warming up process. So in this video, we're going to go over how to create an SMTP credential inside of high level, how to create your warm box account and add some inboxes, choosing your ramp up settings, and then how to look over your stats and so forth and when you might need to stop or if you might need to do some maintenance. So let's get started by creating your high level SMTP credentials. Hey, first of all, thanks for watching the YouTube video. I hope this is really helpful for you. And if there's anything that is that this isn't addressing for you, let me know in the comments below because that's why I'm here. I want to make this super easy for you and I want to make the most value per minute possible. So here's the other thing. If you're here because you're wanting go high level to grow your business, you already know going into the platform, it's like stepping into a car for the first time or a plane for the first time or something like that, that you don't know how to drive. You know it can get there, but you don't know which buttons to push, what pedals to press or what lever to pull. That's why I've created what I call the flight plan. The flight plan is something that I have made to help every high level user take this massively powerful tool and understand how we can propel your business into what everyone wants, which is more customers and more revenue. If you want to see what that looks like for you, go ahead and visit this link because I have done this for lots of business owners. Many business owners use the flight plan and they take it and they run with their business. It's like a custom owner's manual between high level and your business that helps them talk to each other. If you want to know what that looks like, go ahead and click this link below and let's get right back to the content. Okay, now that you have your dedicated email sending domain added to your high level account, now we need to create some SMTP credentials. So one, the way that you do that is we're gonna click on these three little dots right here and we're gonna go to SMTP settings. Once we're here, you're gonna have to create a new SMTP user. Now, just so you're aware, this is usually turned off by default. It won't let you do this. It'll let you get to this page, but when you try to create the user, it's gonna give you an error. 
reach out to high level support or reach out to your agency and say, Hey, I need you to turn this on for me. And it's really easy, really quick. And so just make sure you just go ask it and it should be get done pretty quickly. So now we're going to go ahead and create a new email sending credential. We're just going to call this Alex. Okay. Alex at, and then this is the, this is important. This is the subdomain. Okay. This is the email sending subdomain, even though we want the emails to come from parisclough.com eventually, we're going to create credentials for this email sending subdomain. And now we're gonna create a, uh, a random password. Now we have an inbox created. With this new inbox created, now we need to go into Warmbox, sign up for an account, and then add these credentials. Go ahead and click on the link down in the description to be able to head over to Warmbox so that you can sign up for an account. Let's talk about the pricing here and what these different tiers mean. You can sign up for monthly or annual. I suggest if you're going to do this just temporarily to be able to warm up your account and then be done, just go with the monthly so you can turn it off when you're finished. Now there's a couple of different tiers here. So what tier do you even need? With all my experience in warming up email sending domains, you can see it down in the description below where I've put together this chart and you can see based on how many emails you're gonna be sending about how uh, what, what level you should really sign up for. Now, like I said, this is down in the description, but just real quick for you, if you're gonna be sending upwards of about 5,000 emails a month, that's where you should probably just sign up for the solo account here. But if you're going to be sending upwards of maybe 20,000 emails a month, that's where you should probably sign up for the startup account. And if you're going to be sending up to 100,000 emails a month, that's where definitely go with the growth plan here. And if it's going to be even more than 100,000 a month, that's where warm up has some options to be able to go even higher volume. But for now, let's just stick with those three tiers. And if you've got more than that, you're probably way ahead of the game. Okay, now that you've gotten signed up with Warmbox, now we're gonna go ahead and add the SMTP credentials that we created at high level into Warmbox so that we can start warming up that domain. So the first thing we gotta do is just hit get started right here. Now, this is where some people get confused. You might be tempted to go with like, you know, oh, my, my business email, we, we use Google Workspace or, you know, we use Microsoft 365. So I'm, no, you need to, Ignore all of this. We just set this up in high level. So we're going to go with the other and we're going to add with SMTP. Go ahead and hit that, hit next. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. We're going to grab this user that we just created in high level. We're going to put that in here as the username, the password. Go ahead and enter the password that you created. SMTP host. Here in Warmbox, they call it host, but in high level, they call it the SMTP server. So we're just going to grab this right here. Copy that and paste it right here. And now the port over here, it gives us a couple of ports that we can use 25, 587 and 465. Then we can also use SSL or TLS. With my experience, I have said you should go with 465 and we're gonna use SSL. Last step here is we need to choose an email address that we're gonna send these from. Now this is again, goes back to our lesson on, the, on email sending domains and so forth, but we're gonna do paris at parisclough.com because that's what we want the users to see is the from email address, even though it's coming from this email sending domain. Go ahead and hit next. Now that that's been connected and everything's all working just dandy here, we're gonna choose our recipe. We're gonna go with the grow progressive. This is the most recommended. This is what I think you should do as well. Now we're gonna follow our chart. We're gonna start with 20 emails a day. We don't wanna start with just one and we're gonna max out at 50. We're gonna leave the reply rate at 30% recommended and we're gonna go with the 45 days minimum that they recommend right here. Then we're just gonna hit done and we're all finished. It'll take us to our dashboard and we can see where this is gonna ramp up. We can check in here day to day to be able to see how many emails have been sent, how many are landing in spam so that we can see what is that spam rate and so forth. So like I said, rule of thumb here, once Warmbox sends about a thousand successful warm up emails, and your spam ratio stays under 2% for about a week, you're safe to start sending small broadcasts in high level and then continuing to go up from there. Bonus here, keep Warmbox active in the background even after you've warmed up your email from the beginning. Think of it as kind of a gym day for your domain reputation. It's gonna help you stay out of the spam folder. So quick recap. First thing you gotta do is go create those SMTP credentials. Then we're gonna go sign up for a warm up box account. We're gonna add those credentials to Warmbox and slowly ramp up, watch your score, do all this before your first big campaign and you'll skip the spam folder drama. Be sure to drop your comments and your questions down below. I'm always happy to help. And make sure to watch the next video if you're ready to start sending out your campaigns. 
You've already warmed up your inbox. Now you're ready to send out your first email campaign. We're going to go over how to do that in the next video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.